Well, I think that we're very interested in doing all of those things that ultimately are in the best interest of our cities. Uh, one of the main things that government uh, is trying to do, particularly these days, is to ensure employability. Entrepreneurs are the ones that are providing jobs these days. Entrepreneurs are the ones that are bringing young brain power into our cities. They're the ones that are going to be the next wave of stability. So anytime that we have an opportunity to talk about promote entrepreneurism, particularly in a city in a region that is extremely entrepreneurial, we're going to take that opportunity. You know, when a business moves to a city, we're excited about it. It sort of shows that that business, you know, likes what they see in the city. But equally important is, you know, growing business in the city. And so I think, you know, coming to, a, you know, a, a, an event like this really speaks to entrepreneurs, to Absolutely. those that are in our city today that are going to create the next Cerner or the create the next Kaufman. You know, that's that's the kind of thing that if you look at our city today and going forward, that's going to be the measure of success. Those kinds of businesses growing up, sprouting, taking roots here. And as I said earlier, that as they grow, that you know they grow with the city um, and not away from the city. And we're we're both excited about those opportunities. I think. Mayor James, you said uh, you kind of are taking an entrepreneurial approach inside of government. Um, of course, you two, the, the cities partnering together, is a big milestone uh, for the region. Right. Um, can you talk about uh, that a little bit more? And maybe you're probably going to mention Google Fiber in there as well. Well, you know. It, you know, we can mention Google Fiber, but even without that, I think we would have still wound up at the same place. Because before we even knew about Google Fiber, Joe and I were talking about how we could do things differently. And we have to do things differently. This is a different world. The, the old days of being in a city and waiting for the federal government to rain money down on you or the state to pass money through to you, those days are pretty much gone for at least a while. We have to learn to develop our own. A city is like a company and we can either cut to the bone through cutting expenses and, and spending or we can grow or a combination of both. If we want to grow we have to recognize that the only product that we have to sell is our city. So how do we enhance and improve our product to make it more saleable, to make it more inviting to people to want to come in and and buy parts of it or do things that generate income and jobs. That's the entrepreneurial part. Joe and I have discovered that it's easier to do some of those things when you're working with someone as opposed to competing with someone because they stand five foot on one side of a line and we stand five foot on the other. It makes no sense to do that. Yeah, I, 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 I agree with everything Sly said. And I think, you know, what we, if every mayor wants to see their city succeed. And um, what, what became really obvious, I think, to me and to Sly is that part of the way that our cities are going to succeed is when our region starts to succeed. And that's going to happen by us you know, saying we're going to talk about this and work in a different way than ever before and perhaps a little bit different than most other cities work. Right. We're going to work to figure out how we raise the bar for this whole region and in so doing, um, we're going to make sure that our citizens are benefiting from that. And that really is something, a thought that hadn't been around Kansas City for quite a while. Really? And it's something that, you know, we're beginning to march down that path. And there's a little bit of entrepreneurialism in this to say, you know what, let's approach these things in a little different way. Because by the way, if you take a look, our real competition is not the cities around here, it's the region's in the United States, but really all over the world. And many of them are starting to get light years ahead of where we are as a region or where a lot of the regions in the United States are. We need to start to think and, and, and work differently. For those of you involved in technology, you know the world of technology is changing rapidly. What I would tell you is, is if you're you know, looking at government, if you look around the world, yeah. the way that regions are operating, that's changing rapidly around the world too. And we've got to be willing to adjust and take different approaches. No doubt. I agree wholeheartedly.